We're now one block from the biggest Chinatown in Mexico. Santiago is with us for this scene because our guest is Chinese, Mexican, and only speaks Spanish. Hi, Cassandra. Hello. Hola. Hola. Cassandra, Eddie. Eddie. Nice to meet you. Mucho Hola. gusto, dice. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. <laughs> so this is our La Chinesca representer. Uh, where is she taking us? Restaurant Victoria, no? Sí, así es. To a Chinese-Mexican restaurant here in Mexicali. All right, let's do it. This part of, of downtown is called La Chinesca. Yeah. That is where Chinese people actually live. OK. Underground, we have tunnels. Mm -hmm. And there are two stories about these tunnels. The first one was that Chinese used it at, uh, at the beginning of the century to cross from the US to Mexico. Yeah. They say that that was a myth. Chinese people only use it to hire for the, for, from the sun. To here, hide from the sun? Yeah, because here in summer, it's Oh, fucking, that's right. It's as hot as hell, Because the darker you get, the less you get paid. Exactly. The Chinese understand this. Como en el centro de ciudad hay muchos locales, varios tienen como un pasadizo que da a lo que es la chinesca, pero pues ahorita los tienen clausurados. Se tiene, si se quiere acceder, se tiene que pedir un, como un permiso al gobierno para poder ir. A... Oh, why do they close it? Because they, they they say it might be used like for for bad use, like for high end drugs maybe or high end yeah. people, you know? Yeah. That's why. Oh, so they don't want a place in Mexicali where all that black market underground shit can go on. Exactly. All right. Here. Buenas tardes. Gracias. It's really like the Mexican Chinese yeah, this mixture. Looks awesome. It's like a lot of times in big cities, they try to have like an artificial marriage where yeah, it's like, like a... forcing things to fuse. Exactly. It's not coming from a chef's like real experience and life. They need to do it so that people come to their restaurant. It's like a marketing ploy. Yeah. Here, they're not marketing this. They're just like, dude, we're Chinese people in Mexicali. I don't know anything else but this shit. <laughs> so, aquí que es lo bueno? What's good here? What's carnitas coloradas? Un, se distinguen por colores. Es una carne que al centro es blanca y todo su alrededor es rojo. Es good. Muy bien. Tacos muy de bien. pollo estos. Oh, 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 muy bien. Okay. Do they have micheladas and shit? Uh, they don't have micheladas, just beer. Yo, you know what? I'm going to get the Takati and put soy sauce and sriracha in it. <laughs> See, this is a forced fusion here, all right? You guys ready for this? OK. Your own michelada. Dude, that ain't bad. It's good, man. It's different. Yeah, the thing is, this restaurant, has an actual entrance to the Chinesca tunnels. Oh. So after meal, we're going to go down. Nice. She once tried to enter to the tunnel, and she was caught by the police. <laughs> Why'd you try to go in the tunnel? Quería hacer una sesión de fotos. Oh. That black market modeling. <laughs> oh, shit, here it comes. Carnitas Colorado. Oh, that's just chasu pork. I was like, what the fuck is Carnitas Colorado? But it's Tasso pork. She was describing it like, all right, it's like white on the inside, and then outside is like different pork. And I'm like, what the fuck kind of pork is this? I can tell that's going to be terrible, because the red is the fake red coloring. It's yeah. not from being smoked. It tastes more like Mexican food, because it's got chorizo in there. Yeah, it got chorizo. It's kind of a, a paella. Do you, like, do, you do you like paella? It's not fried rice and it's not paella. This is totally weird. <laughs> this is... The food tastes like hot trash. Oh my god. Jim Pedro. Oh shit. Oh, do this slow motion, dude. Oh. Hey. Fucking crazy. There's the dishwashing bin full of fried rice. <laughs> I knew it. When I ate it, I knew it. 
that the chow mein was made with ramen noodles. The pre-fried joints, you got the mouse traps. Kitchen fiesta. <laughs> So this is a tunnel that is outside the Victoria's kitchen. I hear screaming children. I know that says big, that's it. It could be big trouble in little Chinesca. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have a white person go first, because if they die, it's OK. OK, I'll go first. <laughs> oh, shit. This is so interesting. This is kind of part of, of the tunnels. Of course, there are a lot of tunnels. Dude, that shit just moved by itself. Fuck. Oh, there's a dead pigeon. Quote the raven. Nevermore. Using my forensic skills and understanding of Chinese history, let's think. What do you think this used to be? This person was thirsty and needed calcium. <laughs> Weightlifting champion. Weightlifting champion. He was so strong, he broke the wall. Fuck. There used to be a bed here. Right? Okay. Somebody laid here. And somebody used to teach piano here. Piano, OK. I think this is a this piano teacher's desk. There's a Sharpie. This piano teacher also had ill hand style. Gateway, thirsty, so man. thirsty. But do you think it was the piano teacher that was thirsty? Or just two. Or that person. Three, four. No, 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 that's seven. Five and a half. It's this person's Gatorade. For sure. It is definitely this person's Gatorade. And that's their bathtub. I think we did good, guys. That piano teacher was not hydrated. I feel like in True Detective, man. Yeah, man. I think you are Matthew McConaughey, and I am Woody Harrelson, man. Oh, yeah. Do you think oh, so? Oh, definitely. Sounds definitely. good. I definitely fucked your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good shit.